sonographer makes how much? Honey. <laughs> Welcome back, Sano gang. If you've never met me before, my name is Reese. I'm the Sano mom. I'm currently a cardiovascular sonography student in my very first year. So I just wanted to discuss some things, just the inside scoop about sonography. Um, but before I do that, go ahead and click subscribe and comment down below if you are a sonography student in your first or second year, if you're a sonographer and you just have some things you want to share with us, that would be fabulous. So let's just jump right in, starting with what is a sonographer? So if you were to actually look up what it is, it would say it is a highly skilled medical professional who under the direction of a physician uses specialized equipment to emit high frequently, high frequency, high frequency sound waves into the body to create diagnostic images of the human body. Simplified, we basically use our ultrasound equipment to get diagnostic images. We don't want to just say images because we're not photographers. We get diagnostic images um, of the inside of the human body um, under the direction of a physician. So they always tell you we do not diagnose. When you start any ultrasound school, no matter what state or what country, they're going to tell you, sonographers do not diagnose. That's one of the biggest things they tell you. We're under the direction of a physician. So we do the investigating. So we're more of the investigators. We pass all of our evidence to the physician who will then diagnose. Um, so that's just like a brief description of the job. So the next question, um, that you guys may have is what do ultrasound techs do? So what they do is, um, or some of the things they do within their job description is preparing the um, exam room before the patient. Um, so you would set up the bed, you know, change the sheets, clean off your machine or your transducer, which is what you use on the patient. Make sure the room is clean and presentable for your patient. Um, of course, you have to care for the equipment so transducers alone, that one little piece that you see them putting on the body is over $80,000. So the crystals that are in there, you definitely want to take care of. Make sure you're not dropping. Um, yeah, just take care of your equipment as you would do in any position. Um, after your scans, you would write reports on your scan results. So your job doesn't end in the exam room. Once you are done, you go in and you type type up your um, results, your sonography report is what it's called, so that you can discuss it with the physician. You next would speak with the physician, which is what I said before. Um, after you look at all you know, the results, you discuss with them, and then they can go ahead and diagnose. Um, some other things is that you have to be able to work independently. You have to be able to work independently. So you are a team in the end, but in the exam room, most of the time, it's you and the patient. Okay, um, some important things is to make sure you keep patient's information confidential, which I think we all know that. And if you don't, HIPAA will get you together, okay? <laughs> some important qualities of a um, sonographer, and I'm sorry I have some cards here so I don't forget or leave anything out for you guys, is to make sure you have active listening skills. Like I said, it's just you and the patient in the room. If they have a question, you have to understand what their question is so you are able to answer it for them. You have to be very careful, though, not to diagnose in answering those questions. You have to have good uh, verbal communication, you know, letting them know if they need to move to the side, can you please shift to your side, or, you know, can you lift up your leg a little bit, or anything like that. You have to be able to speak clearly and communicate what you want. Um, you have to have interpersonal skills. I know in my previous video I mentioned, you know, somebody asking about if this is for people who are introverts. And it can be, but you have to learn how to be sympathetic, empathetic, understanding, and be able to communicate with the patient. I mean, at the end of the day, if they're in your office, it's most likely because they think there's something wrong. So you have to, you know, be that middle person. Um, you have to have reading comprehension skills. Basically, to read uh, the report, to know what you're even doing a scan on to begin with. 
let's get into the juicy stuff, the stuff that everybody wants to know about, your salary. So the salary uh, ranges drastically from 48000 a year to 90000 a year. Um, that just depends on, one, your certifications, two, your state, and three, where you're actually working. I'm going to be in the cardiovascular sonography program. There's also diagnostic sonography programs. Um, they do everything outside of the heart. And then I deal with the heart and blood vessels. Um, so it just depends on what your specialty is. Um, and that's the lowest 10% is 48000 a year. And the high 10% is 90000 per year. And I'll insert a couple of pictures. You can feel free to pause it at any time to find your state and what it is in cardiac. And it ranges about the same uh, for diagnostics, sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less. So you can just base that on the average. But I'm going to put those in there. Pause it, find your state so you can understand. Um, and the last thing was how long does it take to graduate from a sonography program or to become a sonographer and that can range between one year and four years um, I personally am taking a two-year program uh, associates degree and from what I've heard in my state um, it's really not necessary to go any farther than that unless you're trying to do like a corporate office job within sonography but I want to be an actual sonographer because I love interacting with the patient I love keeping busy, but you can get it done in one year. I definitely suggest looking it up um, in a state that you're in. Um, so that was just a couple of things that I wanted to discuss with you guys um, that maybe are looking into sonography but not quite there yet. Just a little bit of fun facts. If there's anything I missed that you would like to know, I'll be more than happy to make another video for you. Just drop a comment below. Any questions that you have, I will get with it as soon as possible. Thank you guys for watching. I love you, my Sano gang. Um, don't give up. Keep going. If you're going to be in the program, you will get in the program. Or if you want to be in the program, you will get in the program. If you are in the program, you're going to graduate. If you are graduating, you will get that job. Keep going. Keep pushing. We got this. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace and love.